this week we are going to uh, stay with circuits and uh, I'm just going to walk you through a little bit um, about the concept builder. So obviously from the assignment, the assignment thing looks like this this week. Um, uh, step one, you're going to watch this video. It'll be right here. It says it needs link because this video is right, being created right now. Uh, and then you're going to do two concept builders this week. Okay, and then, so that'll be session one. In session two, you're going to do this practice quiz first. Um, and, and many of you in my class know what this is. Uh, so you can go to joinmyquiz.com, just type in that number, and you can take the quiz as many times as you want. It'll help you practice for the Schoology quiz, which will be under the week three folder. And then for more enrichment of practice, you can watch this video. This is a guy that um, basically shows you what a wire short looks like. So he will go through how if you have a... Uh, a real a lot of current running through a wire because of a short it'll it'll show it and it's pretty neat so I would suggest watching that video alright so the first concept builder is over series circuits the second concept builder is over parallel and this is all review um, so you click on it and it'll take you to the circuits and um, go to launch and if you're using a computer you can make this bigger uh, you can make it bigger on your phone too. And if you're using your phone, you have to use the built-in keypad. Doesn't matter what you type in for your name, because uh, well, it does. It does actually. That way, I can make sure. Just put your real name, so that way I can make sure uh, on the video, on the picture you send me, that it'll that it actually has your name there. All right, then you go to. Uh, there's different levels, and the reason you're doing two this time is because there's a lot less work on the individual concept builder. So let me show you on the apprentice level. It shows a circuit, a one resistor circuit with all these different rows and it marks two different points and it gives you a battery. Here's point A and then here's a resistor and point B. This is a series circuit. There's only one loop of current. Um, and so you're going to take uh, and you're going to fill in the correct value for these rows. Okay, so current, uh, Ohm's law, is uh, V equals IR, right? Voltage is directly proportional to current times uh, resistance. So if you look at current, it's V over R. And so the voltage of the battery divided by the resistance will give you the current through the circuit. So 12 divided by 3 is 4. You hit enter. And even if you're using a keypad, you have to use that. And now remember, in series, all the current is the same everywhere. So I'm going to hit 4 again. In series, it doesn't matter if I measure the current here, 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 anywhere. In the battery, it doesn't matter. It's all the same everywhere. So they're going to both be the same. Uh, and then here you have the same thing. So 12 divided by 4 this time. I'll click in that spot. It'll be 3. Of course, the current's the same everywhere. So 3. All right. Now here's one where you got the resistance and you have the current. Now remember, Ohm's law is the relationship between voltage, current, and resistance. So it's V voltage equals current times resistance. I times R. So... You have R, you have I, I is current, 6 times 3 is 18. You go to that voltage, 18. And then the current in A and B is always going to be the same here because it's a series circuit. So I'll put 6 there. Um, resistor 1. Okay, so if you have the voltage of V equals IR, R is V over I. 12 over 0 0.5 is 24. The current's going to be the same everywhere, so it'll be 0.5. And then I'll do the same thing here. Okay, so if you have you have the voltage this time, you have the current, so R uh, will be V over I. So 24 divided by 1.5 gives you 16. So your resistance is 16. Remember, the current through the circuit is the same everywhere, so it's got to be 1.5, no matter what. So your currents, all the rows, should all be the same, no matter what. So if the voltage is 12, resistance is 3, if the current's 4, anywhere in the circuit, it's going to be 4 everywhere in the circuit. Okay, and then you can hit check answers. It says, congratulations, you have successfully completed this table. And then it'll take you back to the main menu. It'll say health is 100%. That means I didn't miss any the first time around. If you missed some the first time around, that's okay. It'll tell you which ones you missed. And then, now you can see 
uh, I have a trophy there. Then you're going to do master level and wizard level. Uh, the only difference is that there's two resistors instead of one. But I'm going to go over to um, the parallel circuit now as well just to show you some off of there. Okay, so in parallel, you're still using the same relationship, but you have to use the ideas of a parallel circuit. I go here. Now remember, you got to get all three trophies, but I'm not going to go through the whole thing. I'm just showing you an example. So I'll put my name in. So make sure you finish yours before you go on to the parallel one. I'm going to go to the master level because it has two resistors that are in parallel. The apprentice level is basically going to be the same as the first one from the series. So now you have a parallel circuit. The current comes out of the positive side of the battery. It hits this spot here and it's going to split. So some current will go here. Some current will go there. That's what makes it a parallel circuit because it has multiple paths for current to flow. But remember, in parallel, the voltages across the resistances are the same. So if your battery voltage is 12 volts, or sorry, 6 volts, like it is here, your voltage across everything has to be 6 volts. So that means across here, uh, it tells you that, that A is 5 amps. So that means you have 5 amps of current. Okay, it tells you resistor 1 is 2, resistor 3 is 2. But if you have um, 6 volts in the battery, you have 6 volts across R1. So to find the, um, the current across, or the current through B here, it is 6 divided by the resistance in B, which is 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. And then to find the current across, or sorry, through R2, you have the volts of the battery, which is 6, divided by the resistance through R2. So that's point C, so that's 6 divided by 3, which is 2. All right, and that and these should add up to the total. So if the total is 5, then this has to be 3 plus 2 has to equal 5. All right, so the total is wherever it marked A and D. Okay, part A and part D are always going to have the same current. All right, so now same, same voltage but different resistances. So... Um, your current, your total current is, um, where, what does it say, 2, <clears throat> and your resistances are given, so for finding the current through B, you do, again, 6 divided by the voltage divided by the resistance in just B, alright, so that would be uh, 6 divided by 4, which is 1.5, okay, and then, in C, so that is 6 divided by 12, which is 0.5. And then your current in D has to be the same as current in A, because the current the current splits here and goes there and goes here, but then it all comes back together before it gets to D. So whatever the current in A is, is always going to be the current in D. And the current in A and D is also the total current, because the current is split up. So that's got to be 2 as well. Alright, so now I'm going to show you something. I'm going to uh, these two rows are, are correct, but I'm going to show you if you put something wrong. So let's see. I'm just going to put 15 in here. There's no way that's going to be right. Okay, then I'm going to hit check answers. And you'll see that it says they're not all correct. But the ones in green, those are the ones I got right. The ones that are kind of in this color are the ones I didn't do. And then the one here, of course, that tells you that it's wrong. Okay, so you just keep working on it until you get them all right. Okay, so I'm going to exit out. You guys will do that yourself. Um, if you have any questions, uh, contact your teacher. Okay, um, I would highly suggest doing that. Okay, and uh, all of the stuff for this parallel series circuits is still linked in Schoology and then under the notes. So you should be able to go back and look at any of those notes as well to make sure you get them done. The Schoology quiz is going to be very similar to the concept builders. So um, just letting you know that, and be sure to take the quizzes before you take the school G quiz to practice. Hope you guys are doing good. Um, we will have, you know, office hours for us is uh, Wednesday uh, between either 1 and 2 or 2 and 3. I'll send out a message to tell you what it's going to be. Um, anyway, good luck.